Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And now that we've got the movie information taken care of, let's dive back into the comic books because obviously this is Summer of Carnage. And even though the next movie will have Carnage in it, right now he is starring in a lot of books that have been coming out uh, from Marvel Comics. Uh, it's written by Donny Cates, obviously. Art by Ryan Stegman is the main series, Absolute Carnage. But then there's all these great like spin-offs and one-shots that are tying into it that I really liked. Actually, this week, I would say all three books I really enjoyed. Uh, and that's saying something because I, you know, like I said, I was on the fence about even reading this series because I wasn't really fully on board with what Donny Cates was doing. I didn't hate it, but I just didn't love it as much as everybody else. And I was like, ah, I feel too conflicted. I feel too negative when I talk about these reviews. And so maybe I'll just skip this event. And then you guys, you know, brought up a great point, which was, hey, man, we still want to hear your opinion on it, which was nice of you. I was like, hey, thanks for giving a crap, I guess. But also more importantly than that is having a place for you to give your opinion uh, so we have discussions that's what I do I don't typically review stuff but I like to discuss things these are going to be more like reviews but we can still discuss things in the comments down below of what you liked what you didn't like and that way we can have a nice back and forth over what's going on in this series and today what we're going to talk about is symbiote of vengeance it's a one shot that came out uh, written by Ed Breeson and Fr uh, Frigeri is the artist on it uh, last name Frigeri uh, first name Juan and uh, I like the art in this book actually a lot uh, but Ed is actually I'm going to be following him a lot more coming up because he's going to be writing the new Ghost Rider series, and I will be bringing that series back. We'll go through my collection uh, during that series coming out. I was hoping to get it all done before the, the book came out, but obviously I'm not going to be able to. So it'll be fun because we can review like issue one on the show, and then we'll go and do like, you know, uh, you know, a whole year worth of books through my collection, and I can tell you some of the stories of Danny. So you can kind of learn Danny as we go through the new book as well. I think it'll be a good format. I think it'll be fun. Uh, plus, there's also in the back of here, uh, we're going to also discuss on an upcoming episode the road to Ghost Rider, and this is part of that road so we might retouch on this book a little bit in another episode coming up for the Ghost Rider show but these other books I've got all of them now and uh, and we're going to talk about them on our road to Ghost Rider video coming up very soon so yeah I got a lot of Ghost Rider content coming up for this channel very very soon I'm very excited for it uh, but today we're going to give out the digital code for this before we get into this because I might give away some spoilers so boom there you go first person to put that code in gets this comic in digital format and uh, enjoy it let me know in the comments down below if you were the one who gets it obviously it's only a one-time code so once it's put in it's been used and that's it so definitely let your voice be known down below if you got the free book i'd love to hear your review in the comment section down below uh so here we go we have um the book starts off and it takes place in nicaragua and we have alejandra who was a, a ghost writer from uh, not too long ago i think like 2011 2012 when uh flash thompson was venom so we're going to talk more about her next season because there's this great the storyline called Circle of Four, and they kind of did their own version of like the new Fantastic Four. So remember when Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider, we talked about it in one of our Ghost Rider shows, he became a member of the Fantastic Four for like two issues, along with Spider-Man, uh, Grey Hulk, and Wolverine, and they became the new Fantastic Four for like two or three issues. Uh, I always loved that. That was like a really great little two-issue storyline that I really dug, and I always loved that team. And we've seen them pop up in other things like What Ifs and other like spinoff books and stuff. Um, but uh, in this one, you know, in Circle of Four, they kind of re-brought it back. And instead of, uh, you know, Ghost Rider, they did uh, Alejandra Ghost Rider. So it wasn't Danny Ketch, it was uh, Alejandra. And instead of Spider-Man, they did Agent Venom, which was Flash Thompson. Uh, and then they had X-23 instead of Wolverine. And then they had Red Hulk, in, you know, uh, instead of uh, Green Hulk or Grey Hulk. So it was pretty cool. So they referenced that a lot in this. And they also referenced the, uh, the Web of Carnage or Web of Venom. Uh, or Venom, a web of vengeance, or Venom of vengeance. Uh, that's that great little web of Spider-Man, uh, Ghost Rider, Spirits of Vengeance crossover that we talked about on our show before, where it had Spider-Man and uh, you know Ghost Rider teaming up with uh, uh, was Johnny Blaze when he had the robot arm, and they fought Venom, but then they teamed up with Venom. Uh, but that whole storyline, uh, that that actually is referenced a lot in this book too. So uh, it has Alejandra. She's been keeping this small town in Nicaragua like protected for some time now uh, and uh, there's like been like drug dealers and cartels and people coming in to try to hurt the innocent people here and she's been their like their line of defense and so she's protecting this one small town because uh, she doesn't know what else to do she's been a ghost rider but she's you know she there's a lot of sin and, and anger I guess in this area with the cartels and stuff so she's just trying to do what she can to protect this one city and that's her whole goal it's almost like Batman with Gotham only it's a very small town and she's just like look I, I my goal is to keep everyone here protected and nobody here dies and I really like that I thought it elevated her character a 
lot to give her something so specific and such a strong purpose. Uh, but then we have Johnny Blaze in the storyline, who's the king of hell now. Ever since the Damnation storyline that Donny Cates wrote, uh, he put Johnny Blaze in charge of hell. Mephisto has been taken down. He's been dethroned. And now Johnny Blaze, a Ghost Rider, is the king of hell. And it's been great, and they're doing little things with it here and there, but apparently that's setting up for the new Ed Breeson Ghost Rider book, where he reappoints uh, Dan Ketch, his brother, as the Ghost Rider of Earth. And so, obviously, we got to clean the slate a little bit, and that's kind of what this book is. we got to get Alejandra, who temporarily bonded with Agent Venom. She has a codex in her spine, and so, obviously, Carnage is here to get it. And this does take place before Absolute Carnage number one, because, obviously, Car Absolute Carnage number one, all of that's in New York, and all the whole event is going to take place in New York. So this is him globetrotting uh, before he gets to New York, and he gets this power uh, from Alejandra, and it's pretty cool. I don't want to spoil everything, but there is some neat stuff he does here, and I will, since I kind of did allude to it, uh, Alejandra does die pretty early on in this book. I, I was pretty surprised. Uh, not fully, early, like not super early, but about the halfway point, point. Um, and she does die. She gets her codex taken out, which I figured had to happen, because obviously Carnage is super strong by the time he gets to New York, so you have to imagine he got some codexes or codices uh, before then, and this is one of the ones he gets. And But what's great about that is is, is Alejandra's death, I guess, really elevates the story that I think is going to go forward with Ed Breeson's book. So I'm sure it's not the last we've seen Alejandra, which I'm very excited about because I did kind of like that character, even though she kind of came in for a brief time. Anytime there's a new ghostwriter, I get excited. I'm like, all right, cool. I like Robbie Reyes. I like all of them. Uh, Johnny Blaze is probably one of my least favorites because I like him more as a, a mentor role to Danny Ketch. Uh, but him being the king of hell is really cool. So that's re-elevated Johnny Blaze in my eyes. Um, so yeah, so this book has Dan Ketch fighting uh fighting carnage and it's great as a dan catch fan i'm like hey i always gotta buy every i have almost every appearance he's ever been in i have like 99.8 percent of every appearance he's ever been in and uh there's probably like a couple little like what ifs or ultimate comics that i didn't pick i was like yeah i'm not gonna bother with those uh but for the most part i got every appearance every appearance this guy's ever been in not even not just his comic run but every appearance he's appeared in in other books. So having this as part of my Ghost Rider collection now is awesome. And you get Danny Ketch versus Carnage, and he tries the penance there on him. He tries all these things that he did on Venom in the Web of Venom storyline or the, the, the Spirit of Venom. I think that's what it was called. Um, he tried this penance there on Venom, and it didn't work. He tries it on Carnage, and it also doesn't work, but for a different reason, which I kind of liked. Um, so the battle is very brutal. Obviously, there's a casualty with Alejandra, but there's some big surprise at the end, too, and there's some great moments with Danny Ketch, but it shows how out of the game he is in this one. He really does fail on a lot of levels, but I like that. I think that's a good place to start the characters on the bottom because he, out of all the Ghost Riders, uh, he's one of the ones that didn't really ever really want to be a Ghost Rider. Like, he kind of fell into it, and then it caused so much problems in his life that once he had a way to get out, he took it. And he was like, I don't want it anymore. And then he became like an addict in a way and became like the blue ghost writer during Jason Aaron's run. But he did. He kind of falls into it. And then, like I said, he has like an addiction to it in a way like like a drug. But then once he broke free from it, he did. He was like, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be ghost writer anymore. So having a reluctant ghost writer uh, and it be Danny Ketch uh, on top of everything makes me so excited for this new series. So this is like our precursor and almost like an issue zero Point five, because issue zero, I would say, is Marvel Comics Presents number six, where they brought Dan Ketch back for one little storyline, which was awesome, by the way. Um, and Ed Breeson wrote that one. Then we have this one here, which is like 0 0.5. And then we'll get issue one of Ghost Rider next month. So I'm, as you can tell, very excited to talk Ghost Rider stuff coming up. Uh, but this book has some great stuff. And like I said, Alejandra, just because she dies, doesn't mean she doesn't contribute to the storyline. And what her ultimate goal was, was protecting the city. There's some great stuff with that at the end here. So I don't want to spoil that either. I just want to say, go pick this up. This was probably my favorite book that came out this week. Um, easily my favorite book again, because it combined all my favorite things. Dan Ketch, Ghost Rider, Lore mythology brought Alejandra back showed the king of hell and Johnny Blaze it had carnage in it they didn't like you know wimp out carnage he full on is carnage in this book and he goes all crazy it's awesome I loved it I think it's fantastic and I think you should pick it up too if you haven't already so if you have read this let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section and as always we'll continue our conversation down there I have two more books coming up we're going to review we have absolute carnage versus Deadpool number two and then we also have venom number 18 those will be our next two episodes so make sure you stay subscribed so you don't miss out thanks so much see you in the future peace